G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. With a bit of a salutary lesson in chainsaws and paying attention to detail. Recently I've noticed that my chainsaw was cutting particularly badly. It was virtually polishing its way through the wood and no matter how hard I tried to achieve the correct profile using a file guide I was just polishing my way through the wood and it was getting worse. Even when I ground down the depth gauges, it just wasn't working. There was something fundamentally wrong with the way I was sharpening my chain. And then, about five weeks ago, the flywheel came loose while I was sawing, so I replaced it. And then, about a fortnight later, the flywheel key broke and had to be replaced. Cost me $25. Isn't paperwork a marvellous thing? You can even get the dates to match. From the logbook to the receipt. But then, lo and behold, yesterday, $160. Right? And what that bought me was a new bar and a new chain and a new drive sprocket as well as the correct file to sharpen the brand new chain. And if you look very carefully you'll see that it tells you how wide the track is running around the edge of the bar. 1.6 millimetres or 63 thousandths of an inch. And that matters because the tang on the chain which goes into the groove has to be the correct size for the groove. Otherwise, if it's too narrow, the tang is going to wobble side to side in the groove. And if it does that, it will wear the groove and the groove will become wider and it will wobble worse. And what had happened to me was four years ago, a different chainsaw mechanic had put a Husqvarna chain on my still bar, on my still saw. And the new chain, which cost me $40 in September 2012, the tangs on that new Husqvarna chain were about 0.2 of a millimetre or 20 thousandths of an inch. Too narrow for the groove on the steel bar. So, between 229 hours 5 minutes and 265 hours and 10 minutes worth of engine run time, less perhaps four or five hours for chainsaw milling which was done with the 36 inch Oregon bar so out of the 29 hours of engine running time my use of the wrong chain which I didn't know was a wrong chain $40 chain including fitting did $160 worth of damage to the saw. It destroyed the bar, it destroyed the sprocket, the chain had to be thrown away. All because I didn't kick up a fuss when I saw that I'd been sold a Husqvarna chain for my steel saw. I trusted the bloke who said, oh yeah, it's okay, this will be, this will be fine, it won't do any damage. Your saw can use this chain when in fact it was probably the chain that he happened to have there at the time and he didn't want to tell me to come back and wait for another day when he had the correct chain. He just sold me the chain that he had. However, on the bright side, at least I've got down to the bottom of why I've managed to uh, file the wrong chain out of square or out of true. I asked for the correct file for the brand new chain. 
I've got an Oregon file and an Oregon chain. And look at that, 7 30 seconds of an inch, 5.5 millimeters. And as you can see, the new file does in fact fit the tooth's profile. Yeah? The interesting thing is when you have a look at the new file, put it up against the old file in the depth guide, and I was already using the correct file, and somehow using the correct file, which was actually the correct file for the size of the cutters, it was just the tang on the Husqvarna chain that was incorrect for my blade. Using the correct file was uh, creating an increasingly wrong profile, causing me to polish my way through the log. And it turns out that this is how you achieve such a disastrous result. The file is 732 5.5 millimetres. But the file guide is for a 3.8. And it's supposed to have 5.2 millimeter file, 13 sixty-fourths of an inch, not 7 30 seconds of an inch. So the file guide is just a little bit too small for the file. I'm assuming that this file guide came into the, my toolkit when my son bought his. 029 still. So I had the wrong chain on the right bar, I had the right file for the wrong chain, but I had the right file in the wrong file guide. And it only took me four years to figure it out. So I guess sometimes in some subjects I am at least as silly as I look, perhaps even sillier. But at least you can't say that I'm not willing to tell a story against myself if it has a good lesson attached. And the lesson is that a Husqvarna chain is a piece of shit unless it's running on a Husqvarna bar. The lesson is that you have to pay attention to small details because you can have the right file for the right chain on the right bar and unless you've got the right file guide, you will progressively destroy the profile of the cutting teeth. And then you'll be polishing your way through the wood and you'll be getting cranky, as I was. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.